His name is David Stern. As he comes to the podium, we got to understand this. The Heat flew in O.J. Mayo to Miami on Tuesday, and this is when they all thought that Beasley was the supposed pick. So that's the thing that ended up raising a whole lot of questions. Here's the commissioner now with the pick. With the second pick in the 2008 NBA draft, the Miami Heat select Michael Beasley from Kansas State University. You know, throughout all this debate, will it be Beasley, will it be Mayo, Mark Jackson said, if I got the second pick, I pick Michael Beasley and I take my phone off the hook. The Heat now, their first lottery pick since 2003. And this means that freshmen have now gone 1-2 in the NBA draft for the second straight year. And it's also the only two times in NBA history this has happened. Beasley, a unanimous first-team All-American, Big 12 Player of the Year, 26 points per game, 12 rebounds per game. Jay Billis, it, it, saying this guy is a beast is a bit of an understatement, isn't it? There's no question. I mean, you mentioned it with the numbers. Productivity and efficiency absolutely off the charts. There's nobody else in this draft in the last several drafts that has been close to what Michael Beasley is able to put up night after night, and he does it consistently. And people talk about the fact that he didn't measure out to be 6'10", but yeah, he's got arms that extend beyond normal human limits. He's got a, a wingspan of over seven feet, and he's very bouncy. He's got great feet. Second jump ability, an outstanding rebounder. He's got a, just a great feel for scoring. And he knows how to operate in a crowd. I mean, he can score in traffic. He can rebound in traffic. He's got great strength. And he's got a terrific demeanor on the floor, great aptitude. And, and I think he's really a competitor. You know, people can talk about the fact that he's not a, a great defender. They didn't put everything he has into defense. But I think he's a pretty darn good defender, especially when he puts his mind to it. But where he's special, Jeff and Mark, is on the offensive end. He, he's, he's a big time natural scorer and you just can't teach him and for me that's what Miami needs uh, desperately so I think with Wade back Sean Marion and now adding Beasley they're gonna be very very hard to guard oh, that's an incredible talent this guy can flat out score and he gives another weapon alongside of Wade he also has an incredible family Doris Burke is with someone in his family now Doris what's the big decision his family made before he went to Kansas State well, I've got Fatima Smith. Uh, she raised five children, Stu, all by herself. Michael is the second oldest of those five. And Fatima, obviously, very emotional moment for you. But what is it like for a mom to watch her son be the second overall selection in the NBA draft? I mean, there's no words that would have prepared me for this. I thought I would have had all the answers for you when you came back. But it's, it, it, when you work so hard with the team that we have to, to put him in his position and see the outcome, it, it's just unimaginable and words cannot describe it. Congratulations Stephen A. Michael your mom is very very happy and proud. She has a reason to be big man. Congratulations. I'm wondering with all the speculation coming into this draft were you concerned were you scared that you wasn't going to end up being picked by the Miami Heat. Um, yeah I mean anything can happen in, in, in a draft you know I think past this showed that and uh, just to be here right now just <laughs> Made me a whole lot happier. All right, give it to me, and I want specifics. They were 15 and 67 last year. This team struggled in every category imaginable. What are the What is the city of Miami getting from Michael Beasley next season? They're getting a great player, um, a hard worker, a good rebounder. You know, um, just a fun-loving guy off the court. You know, I think every team needs that. Right. Wayne Wade's looking forward to it. Stu, back to you.